Harad, uh, do you worry that a new health care regime that has different incentive structures will tell people to get less imaging or less technical intervention? Um, I, I don't worry. I, mean, uh, I, I worry when I hear that uh, the perception is that technology drives up health care costs. I think technology is there to help contain health care costs. Um, and for me, the simple comparison is um, our health care in Europe is not much worse off than health care in the, in the U.S. On the contrary, I would say, in Europe, uh, everybody has universal access. Uh, that's not the case in the United States. Europe pays average 10% of GDP for health care. The U.S. pays 17. So something's wrong in the U.S. And, and, uh, Let me just, uh, for the audience to know, Harad lives in Amsterdam, right? I do. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I didn't mean it as a joke. I just, people saying, okay, where are you? No, 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 let's be paying 9% of yeah, right. health care. <laughs> right. um, uh, and yes, there has, I said it, there has been in some areas, uh, you could say some abuse of imaging. But that, that's only minority. If you look at technology, uh, technology represents, all technology represents less than 10% of healthcare cost. 90% is in staff, is in medicine, and off technology, imaging represents 2%. Right. Yeah? So what are we shooting at? We should, we should be shooting at creating a more effective system with the right incentives, indeed, to do the right thing for the patient. Yeah? Incentivize doctors to do what's best for their patient and to produce good outcomes. And that's, that's our attitude towards healthcare. Um, uh, we think that's in the interest of societies, also in the interest of society here. So from that perspective, I'm not worried. Um, I see that as a necessity, I see it as a reality. Uh, and if in the process that leads to the fact that we will sell one or the other MR, fewer MR, uh, then so be it. But I think in other areas, we will be able to make a much bigger contribution. And that's what, at the end of the day, uh, also our business is about. So uh, I, I actually, first of all, it depends how you define technology to say that, uh, I mean, drugs are technology too, devices are technology, okay. hip, yeah. hip implant. So, Almost all the economists who look at it, 50% of the cost increase in medicine is technology driven. And uh, uh, but very little, it drugs. turns out, no, includes I, I, drugs. Okay. Very little of it. When turns I talk out, about technology, I look yeah. at the device side. Yeah. Right. I, I'm but, not looking at drugs or implants. Uh, well, no. it's all there. Yeah. But uh, uh, very little, actually, for example, is aging of the population. Almost very little of the drive up in healthcare costs is that. The problem is, is not technology per se, right? I mean, we have, look, this technology, right? driven down costs, hasn't raised costs. Mm. Only in medicine has technology driven up costs. And that's partly, you know, you invent something new, and there's no incentive to, to uh, price it down. And all the incentive is to price it higher and higher and higher. And so we haven't created an infrastructure, the financial reimbursement and economic infrastructure, to actually develop technologies where the prices go down. I think uh, organizations and companies like Philips and all the great innovators, I mean, is it impossible to develop new technologies that do more and are cheaper? No. We know that in telecommunications and computers and all sorts of areas. Only medicine stands out because of the kind of uh, payment system we have where that, that's not the incentive. Right. Once we change the incentive, these guys will make a lot of money making things better and cheaper. Yeah, well, I think it's, uh, I fully agree. It's a, it's a matter of incentive. And, 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 it, and innovation and won't go away. We, we need the more effective system because we have, a, we have a growing population, we have an aging population. So globally, there will be a huge demand for more health care. Yeah. Uh, that's a great opportunity for all of us. If in the context of that, we also can deliver better care at lower cost, uh, we will still have a great business, and we will make a useful contribution to society.